Hi, I'm Natalie. Today I'm going to show you some key fall essentials that I recently picked up at Uniqlo and how to style them. Before we begin, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with more fashion content like this. Now let's get into it. Like so many of you probably watching, I love a good t-shirt and I'm always looking for one with good structure made of good quality cotton. This one is from the menswear collection from Uniqlo. I got this in a size extra small and it is from the collaboration Uniqlo U with designer Le Mer. This shirt is slightly oversized, so while I would usually take a size small for tops in the menswear collection, I decided to go with the size extra small because it's already a little bit more boxy. Now my idea with this t-shirt is actually to cut it at the bottom so that I can give it more of a cropped style. The reason that I wanna do this is because I'm wearing a lot of trousers and a lot of high-waisted pants this fall, and I wanna have more of a different silhouette with my t-shirts. I'm having a very hard time looking for crop t-shirts that are on the affordable side, so I thought this Uniqlo U1 would be the perfect way to get that silhouette that I want. Now I'm gonna show you how that crop shirt looks later on in this video, so make sure that you keep on watching. While I was getting inspiration for these outfits, I decided to jump onto Pinterest and I saw this girl wearing a high-waisted gray trouser and a gray t-shirt. I'm doing a black version, but you get the point. The look was very minimal, but it was so chic on her and I wanted to replicate it for myself. I'm wearing a pair of Frankie Shop trousers. These are in a size small, Margella Tabby shoes, and this is my friend's Loewe basket bag. I think he said it's in the size medium, but he did lend it to me and I think it is a great bag. I love how it kind of leans into a warmer fall vibe without getting too heavy. The next look that I picked up is a white t-shirt and here I'm going to show you how I crop the shirt. So I ended up buying a second one just because I'm wearing this shirt so much recently and it absolutely does go with everything in my wardrobe. So I bought this one almost a month ago and I've already washed and worn it quite a few times, at least once a week because I'm wearing it that much. And I have to say that it's held up really well. If you're gonna cut it, just make sure that you leave just a little bit of room because those raw edges will curl up. If you plan on doing this for yourself and you wanna get that crop look as well, just make sure that you put the t-shirt on first and then you make a little mark where you think that the fabric is gonna be sitting the most flattering, like your preferred crop length for the shirt. As you can see, I didn't go overly cropped. I wanted to make sure that I could still tuck in the shirt just a little if I wanted, but without having that extra bulk all around the waist because I find that sometimes when I wear t-shirts and I tuck them in, you can see all that extra fabric and I just find it very unflattering and uncomfortable so this gives me the option of kind of tucking it in and it suits my shorter waist a little bit more than a full-length shirt again I jumped onto Pinterest and I got some outfit ideas and I saw a girl wearing this neutral colored suit with a white shirt and white sneakers and I was like you know what I have all these elements in my wardrobe I'm gonna do this for myself and then just add a little twist to it I'm wearing my nano puzzle bag from Loewe and then this is just a little navy ribbed beanie that I recently picked up from the essence sale and it is from Jill Sander by the way, the suit is from the Frankie shop. I'm wearing the bay blazer and trouser. The trousers are a size small and the blazer is a size extra small. For reference, I am 5'4". My next fall essential and item that I picked up at Uniqlo is this beautiful merino wool sweater. It is 100% merino wool and what I like is that the fabric is lightweight so that it's very flattering on the body. I got mine in a size small but I feel like a size extra small would have been a little bit better of a fit for me. By the way, this sweater does come in about eight different colors. I was drawn to the tan just because I love a good neutral in my wardrobe and I find that it goes with everything but they do have a gorgeous red color and they have some blues and they they have some off-whites as well. All right, now let's just talk about wool care for a second because wool can be very tricky and I'm sure that you've all been there where you throw your wool in the wash and then it comes out like half the size and then you don't know what to do with this teeny tiny sweater that you spent all this money on and now you have to get rid of it. So there is a wash that I get from Amazon. It's from the brand La Laundress. It's sort of expensive but it does smell nice and it lasts a really long time because you only need a little capful. Now, I've seen this on YouTube and I've never tried it for myself, but it looks like the other thing that you can do is take your shrunken sweater and add it in water with hair conditioner and something about the hair conditioner relaxes the fibers so that you can eventually manipulate the sweater back into 
its original shape by stretching it out very gently. But again, Google this, I'm not exactly sure how it works, uh, but YouTube definitely has some good tutorials on it. I'm curious to try it for myself, but I don't know if I have the patience for it, to be honest. For this look, I styled it with black trousers, a Uniqlo bag from the Jill Sander collection from last year, and then a pair of Converse Chuck Taylors, and this gorgeous coat from Uniqlo, which is also another fall essential of mine because I love a gorgeous camel coat for fall. Before we style it, I just wanted to show you the base layers of this outfit, which is essentially a pleated high-waisted trouser. These ones are wool, so they're very warm and comfortable come fall and winter. My shirt is a cropped one from Adder Air, and then the boots are the Margiela Tabby boots. Now this gorgeous camel coat is a wool blend and it makes it incredibly soft and very wearable. By the way, I did forget to cut off that little tab thing, like you know the X at the back that keeps the two pieces together. Make sure that if you're getting yourself a wool coat or a blazer that you cut off that little thing at the coattails because that is a pet peeve of mine and I can't believe I left it in for this video. I am mortified. But anyway, this coat is a wool blend. It's very affordable. It goes with everything. It is an absolute beautiful must have to add to your fall wardrobe. And like you can see here, you can also pair it with a little pop of color and it'll look absolutely amazing. I did get mine in a size medium, by the way. I sized up because I wanted to get a slight oversized fit. Now, since we're on the topic of outerwear, let's talk about the next fall essential, which is quilted jackets. These jackets are great not only for keeping you warm, therefore making them functional, but also because they look great with a multitude of different looks. Whether you decide to style yours with leggings and a combat boot, or trousers and a pair of sneakers like I've styled it here, a quilted jacket is a definite must have in everyone's wardrobe. That's of course assuming that you live in a climate that has colder weather. I did get this particular jacket earlier in the season, so I don't think they have this particular style or color anymore, but they have very similar ones nonetheless. I did get mine in a size small, and I find that it fits really well. What I like is that it's lightweight, but it's also compact so that I can pack it away and travel with it. Now, one of my other fall essentials is fragrance. I like to keep things fresh and change things up as soon as the seasons change, and right now I am obsessed with these two from Jo Malone. Murantanka is warm and spicy and it's got notes of lavender, myrrh and tonka bean. And then I like to layer on English pear and freesia, which is more of a fresh scent. This one has notes of pear, freesia and patchouli and I find that both of them mixed together layer beautifully for autumn. Now my next fall essential is actually a very simple one and that is the long sleeve black t-shirt. Again, I got this one at the men's collection. This one is 100% cotton and it is that really gorgeous thick cotton similar to the t-shirts. I am wearing a size extra small by the way. Now, while some people might think that a t-shirt might be a little bit of a boring option for a fall essential, it's actually a necessary one because number one, it keeps you warm when layered underneath sweaters or coats, but also they can be worn alone as the weather transitions. For this look, I wanted to go for more of a daytime look and I'm wearing my t-shirt with a pair of trousers from Nova London. And then I opted for a pair of sandals. These ones are from Alexander Wang and they are almost a decade old. That's how long I've had these, but they are fabulous. And then I grabbed a pair of sunglasses and then I went for a little sparkly bag that I happened to pick up on Amazon for about $50. I'll make sure that I link that bag down in the description box below because this has been one of my absolute favorite finds on Amazon. And in case anybody has ever wondered what that little furry thing is in the corner of my video, that's my cat Theo. He always likes to be around whenever I film and he's persistent on making a little guest appearance in every single video I do. Now, like I said before, the beauty of a t-shirt is that you can layer it. And here I decided to grab that camel colored coat from Uniqlo and then pop it on over top of my outfit. And all of a sudden I'm a lot warmer. My outfit feels complete, yet the overall look is still very chic and elevated. And I think that's the beauty of basics is that you have pieces that are truly versatile, not just across all seasons, but with various looks, whether you decide to dress them up or dress them down and go for a date night look. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for watching my video, for subscribing, and a big shout out and a thank you to Uniqlo for sponsoring this video. I really enjoyed creating these looks and I hope that you did as well. If you did, please make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, let me know what your favorite fall essential is and I will definitely look into it. If you enjoyed this content, make sure you check out my next video here on fall fashion. See you in the next one. Bye!